My name is Dr. Manchir Singh. I'm a plastic surgeon based out of Manhattan, New York City. I did my general surgery training at Harvard Medical School. I had the opportunity to do two years additional years of research, uh, further exploring different aspects of plastic surgery. After completing my general surgery training, I did move to Baltimore, where I did additional three years of training in uh, plastic surgery at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. I still hold an assistant professorship in the Department of Plastic Surgery where I teach the residents. Plastic surgery is very unique because you do get an opportunity to make a big difference in patients' lives and bring back their confidence or restore them back to their youthfulness. Someone who has been wrecked from pregnancies, their abdominal wall is completely shattered, or an aging female who does not feel so confident anymore. So we do offer services ranging from facelift to mommy makeover to breast augmentation and liposuction. The area where I feel my expertise is, is uh, facial surgery. I've always been very passionate about facelift, as well as any facial procedure that comes along with it. So fun facts about me I've been asked to talk about. There are quite a few things that you can probably find on my website, on internet, on my real self, Instagram. There are a few things that you will not find. So let's talk about those. I come from a family of doctors. My granddad was a lawyer, wanted a soccer team, football team rest of the world as we call it, full of doctors. I was the 11th in my extended family to go to medical school. So there was a big celebration when I went to medical school. Now we have a good bench strength. Lots of my cousins and other family members are in medical school and they are doctors already. So I think that's interesting. The other fun fact that I wanted to share today is I went to a boarding school, but it was very unique in the sense I was raised by monks. We had lots of monks in my boarding school. We'd wake up at five in the morning. I went to boarding school when I was nine years old and I was there for seven years. I have friends for the rest of my life. That's a different story. But we'd wake up at five in the morning. We'd go worship, we'd go work out. We had our schedule from five in the morning till 9 p.m. every day, 365 days a year. I do think the discipline helps me to this day as a surgeon in the OR, outside the OR, treating the patients right. I think that's something that you are born with and or that's something that you imbibe very early in your life. I feel if I didn't do that when I was that early, if I didn't value discipline, if I didn't learn how to be so disciplined in life, I'd not be where I am and to this day I'm very thankful for that experience. So talking about my hobbies, there are quite a few things that I enjoy outside work. I did my surgery training in Boston. Boston, if you may or may not know, has a big Irish population, especially the Saudi part of Boston. Movie Deported was shot in the, the gym that I used to go to. They're very big on boxing. So I took up boxing classes and I really got very big into it. I go daily now at a point where I can do boxing by myself. I don't spar because I feel my hands are very valuable for me, uh, but I do lots of shadow boxing. After a long day at work, you can yell at anyone, but you are tired getting that out on a boxing uh, with your boxing gloves on. It's very therapeutic. You should try it sometime. You'd really like that. Other thing that I really like and enjoy is traveling. I do think it broadens your outlook. I do think it makes you more aware of the rest of the world. I've been very fortunate. I've been to six continents, 48 countries. I don't stay at fancy hotels when I travel. I try to stay at as local. I mostly walk on my foot. I try to walk the whole city because I like to interact with people. I like to learn their language. I like to learn their culture. And I think I'm a better person for that. I think I'm more well-rounded and well-developed because of uh, traveling more. Traveling, boxing, and lately running. Running can be a little bit tricky because when you're running, you so many thoughts come to your mind. I try to focus and meditate. I try to keep all thoughts out of my head. Just focus on running. It's beautiful. My practice currently is on Fifth Avenue. After a long day at work, there's nothing like five mile run around the Central Park. I take lots of pride in my patient care. Every patient that walks through the door, that's an opportunity for me to serve my patients, do something that I've been training all my life for. Surgery is very critical. I take pride in my results. I stand by every result that I have. But to me, 
what really sets things apart is the care that comes after the surgery or even before the surgery. I share my personal number with every patient. Every patient gets a phone call from me either the night of surgery or within 24 hours from the surgery. Every Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, every weekend, I go back three to four weekends before and I call every patient I operate upon. Patients have lots of questions, they, they text me directly, I text them back. I do feel if you empower the patient, if you make them feel that if they have a question, they're going to be heard, they are so respectful and so appreciative of that. I was told by lots of people never to share my personal number, but so far I have not had a single patient abuse it or disrespect it. If anything, I feel they are very respectful and appreciative. I do believe the aftercare that we provide, which in my opinion is as important as the surgery. Your plastic surgery that you get, it's not a commodity, it's an experience for us. And I, we want it to be an experience for you. We try to keep ourselves very reasonably priced, but we take lots of pride in providing you great customer service, great patient care, something that we are really proud of. So my practice is in Manhattan, New York City. Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, if you walk every block, there are three plastic surgeons, maybe more. There are 1,000 plastic surgeons within one square mile, probably per capita might be the most densely populated. And they're all great. I love my colleagues, I have lots of respect for them. When someone comes to me, chooses me as their surgeon, it's a privilege. It's a privilege that you trust me with your care, that you trust my hands, you trust my skill. I just want to say thank you with capital letters for trusting me. It means the world to me. I don't change it for anything else. Our lovely patient is only two weeks out from our deep plane facelift and neck lift. Her jawline and her neck look so wonderful. So much bruising to heal, but it's looking amazing. Here she is looking beautiful and wonderful. Bruising is almost gone. The neckline and jawline looks great. How do you like the results? What do you think so far of your experience here? Yes, Dr. Moncher Singh is the best surgeon in all New York and all America. <laughs> I like my results very much. Thank you. You're so kind. You're so wonderful. It was a real pleasure to have you as a patient.